Could this then be the face of the earliest known human ancestor? We may never know, because Kenyanthropus may be just one of many two-legged apes that emerged millions of years ago, and we could have evolved from any one of them. And so we can now tell a new story about our origins. It is a story not of a creature chosen above all other animals, but of one just like any other, which evolved by chance mutation. It began, as evolution always does, with a chance event. Eight million years ago, a huge environmental upheaval began. Forests all over the world were replaced by grassland. A vast adaptive radiation began, creating a host of new species who could survive in open plains, not forests. One of these was a breed of apes that had a chance mutation, apes that could walk on two legs. These two-legged apes would have multiplied, as did all the other new creatures, over millions of years into many related species. By the time of Lucy, three million years ago, there were perhaps half a dozen different two-legged animals of this kind. Just one of these species would have been our ancestor. For some reason, probably just sheer chance, it survived when all the other two-legged creatures died out. This animal, and we do not yet know what it was, eventually became human. One of the things we learned looking at the fossil record like this and, and looking back in time, that the fact that we're here today is really very much a chance event and we were part of, of the med, main ecosystem. We were part of the evolution that was going on with, with all the other animals. That is the real story of our evolution. We were not chosen. We did not defy the laws of nature. We are simply the ape that got lucky. <laughs>